All right, people, welcome back. More Death Protocol commentary. So, uh, yeah, it's just me here. There's no one else here, so you don't have to dislike the video. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I Sandy. Hello. So, if you guys think that I'm gonna quit, no, no, no. Like, if straight up, if you don't like Stanzi, you can't stand Stanzi. Either unsuscribe or leave the channel. Stanzi is my right hand or, man. Or just, or just, or just don't watch the videos with me in them. Exactly, but That's if if, like if you really think, oh, oh, this is gonna fucking get him, I'm just gonna pop on and dislike because Stanzi's in. Thanks for the view. <laughs> <laughs> Because, you, no. you, yeah, you have to give me the view to dislike the video, so thanks. So, no, 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 Stanzi isn't going in. What on earth is this man playing? He is Empower playing... Empowered Light Swarms, that's uh, Fuck it, they're level 4, Manira loves its 4, and it's probably like Fairy Tail, I guess. It's probably going to mill a shit ton and, you know, send that Fairy Tail bitch and then do a shit ton of damage over extend. Uh, so, the it's Dark Magician versus Light Swarm... Minerva fairy tail deck. I forgot what I called it last time. Empower. I guess it's some power lights ones right now. Oh, damn, empowered lights ones. That sounds like a weird idea. That's like that's about as good as taking a fucking cow and fusing it with the arse end of a pig. Like, yes, I understand that both sides might work together and you might get some tasty fucking double meat out of it, but it just is wrong. <laughs> so I can't tell if this guy runs too many pots or he got unlucky because he went pot, revealed a pot. And then grab the pot. Like, really? Like, uh-uh. <laughs> hey, you gotta pot it up, man. Uh, generally, if I'm gonna play pot duality, I run two. Because three gets cloggy. And if you pot into a pot, then you need, not only is that one less target that you're revealing for it, but if you grab that pot, then you're one turn slower and behind. So, mm -hmm. not the biggest fan of multiple pots. I can't tell if he's running, you know, multiple, like he's running three, or he just got lucky and went, only oh, ran two, and he went pot and reeled the pot. But even then, he still grabbed the pot. So I mean, you probably... Really? You're just gonna... I would have gone into Mikael and just fucking banished that Dark Magic Circle. <laughs> or the Magician's Rod. Or something. Okay. For all we know, he might not even have any synchro plays. It's literally all about the fucking uh, XC plays. And there it is. Told you. There it is. There it is. Right there. Fairy Tale Snow. Ah, Norton. <laughs> I think this might be game. Like... <laughs> I mean, I saw this deck beat the shit out of what blue eyes. So you and your dark magician, really? Like, you, yeah, oh, like you ain't ready. <laughs> like, look, like, look at but, him, man. Like, like, but, but I'm Yuki. Like, I'm Yuki. Uh, where is my Max C, dog? <laughs> Holy shit! And they just had to put Max C down, didn't they? Mm -mm 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 -mm. There he is. He's gonna get to it eventually. Eventually. And he's still it's possible, he's still not done. Wow, really? I oh, mean, I, guess, I, I mean he's going for game now. Wait, Norman oh, yeah. can't attack. No. Well done, you fucked it up. I mean he might have enough with Fairy Tail. Why was that Rooch did? Uh you read it. This card's in graveyard based on all months and field special summon this card. So he's gonna summon it for eighteen fifty. Yep, so I don't know, maybe maybe even summon her attack and then main phase nope, nope, that's enough, yep. Damn, get FTK, nigga. Get FTK, fairy tale, yep. Fairy tale snow. <laughs> that was quick. Well, uh, well, well that, be right back. Next again. video, I guess. Oh, cool. Alright, like, wow. That was, that was just quick. So this deck is just straight up shenanigans. It's like, it's like, I guess, the evolution of Light Swarms, really. <laughs> I guess. Especially with Manero. The point is, it's the problem is, like, it's not cheap to make. It's not like you can just, you know, make it with ease and run down. What do you mean? Of course you can make it with ease. All you need is three Manero's. <laughs> Three Manero is fucking six thousand dollars. That is that's enough for like a good what use card. Actually, I think she got cheaper because there's that super rare version. All right. Oh, and you can just catch the cycle reader. <laughs> Damn, that cycle reader though. That I like just the cycle reader. It's putting in that work. Oh boy! Double, double, Get double. Right. <laughs> wow, <laughs> nigga, fuck your soul charge. No. You don't get shit, my dog. <laughs> wow. Damn. 
Psycho Reader sub gun. <laughs> so, I mean, this deck ever became relevant in meta. I mean, Ally just a Psycho Reader. So now I'm for Blue Eyes, this deck, and ABC. Like, damn, boy. <laughs> That's sad. If, if I made it into the the next great YouTuber, I was actually going to discuss, and I was going to discuss Ally just a Psycho Reader versus DD Crow. Mm -hmm. Because they both are really good in their own situation, so... Yeah, except DD Crow is more broad, where yeah. it's only versus life cycle reader. Mm -hmm. But you get but two. The, but, yeah, I know that's that's what I was about to say. But the thing with cycle reader is you get two. And you know what else? That's it's a bonus for cycle reader. What? It's a level three tuner. Oh. But it's not an effect monster because if you look at the card, it's not an effect monster. That was back when Konami was in an awkward phase where it's like, well, if it's a tuner, then it's an effect. Like, no, 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 you put machine tuner effect monster. You didn't put effect. It clearly has an effect. <laughs> no, no, it doesn't. That'd be silly. <laughs> so, yeah, you can go into some synchro plays with that. So that's, that's pretty high. So with all these powerful hand traps being tuners, like, ghost, like cherries and ghost ogre snow rabbit, cycle reader, <laughs> like these level three tuners as well. Yep. Oh, there he is. The only problem is that he kind of went neg on that. Yeah, he did. Like, the only thing that the other if guy... If he gets the search. Yeah. But, you know, like, the only thing that he went neg on is the, the soul charge. You know, mm -hmm. he played it, it's fizzled, that's a neg, right? But I guess it's better than stopping him from going plus three, because he would have went plus three off that soul charge. So, exactly. So you went neg with the double type reader, because while you banish shit from the grave, it's not resources, so you pitch two from your hand. So instead of opening up with five... Is you it worded to up to two, or does it have to be two? It's up to oh, two. Oh, is that the strike? Yep. Oh, two, so it has to be exactly two. No, it's up to two. Oh, up to. All yeah, right. and we can play up to two light monsters from your opponent's graveyard. Oh, yeah. Or you can do that. Yep, yep, yep. Ah, I did that play before. That play is so good. That's why Dark Magic Veil is just like steadily getting a little bit better than like Swing of Memories of Silent Doom and like uh and uh you bell dives. Because yeah. I pay a thousand, but I can summon any dark spellcaster. That includes well, I, I didn't know he was gonna have Dark Magician, but that includes Summer Monk, and I actually did that play, and it was pretty good. Yeah. Oh, take the name just to uh, get rid of that veil, I guess. Denko wreck you, okay. Yeah, Denko wreck you. Like a wrecking ball. Problem is, oh, that's risky. That is risky as fuck. You lucky, lucky person. <laughs> uh, like I said, like I said. Oh my god. Sit. I'm done. <laughs> that's it. That's it. Okay. <laughs> Luck. <laughs> wow. Get fucked up. God fucking damn it. Wow. Oh, well, you're wrecked. GG. Really? I think I would have went Castell. And just put it back in the deck. Yeah. Because while you can stop it now, you're going to have to deal with it later. And that's the thing. You don't want to deal with it at all. Yeah, but you can just chain it before... It... And the guy's gonna be like, oh, anything that can bring it fucking Yeah, but like I said, not, but you still gotta deal with it later. It's always gonna be in the graveyard. You're gonna run out of a Ghost Dweller and detaches. Or Castell, you just be like, go back to the deck, you're gone. You're not even in the grave to have to deal with later. For an additional 200 damage, like, I guess, I would just use Castell. But I guess maybe Dweller is good overall. <gasps> yeah. What else did he mail? Did he mail like Electric Mac Turtle? No, that was last duel. So. All right, so what did you draw? Oh, that, okay. Oh, that, yeah. Well, well, you're back in the door. Yeah, you're definitely back in the door. All right, okay, sure, you can stop it. Does he have any light throwing monsters? He's going to the the cycle to fuck him up. No, he doesn't have any light throwing monsters. Thinking no. that maybe he can get, like, a Lumina. He has that lovely trick clown, but unfortunately, you can't do shit. No, no. So, never mind. Never mind, Dweller was actually the right choice. Dweller putting in that work. So you can summon the right in, but... Well... You don't know for sure if Duella was the right choice because he would have shuffled his deck, so he might not have drawn that charge. Mm, and milk the trick clown, so you know what I mean. True, true. Wow, that's good. Yeah. Wow. I didn't even know it had that first effect. These and Pat would seem pretty good. That yeah, field spells just... dope. It summons the one from the fucking deck. This thing was... Pops shit like oh yeah and banishes shit and then pops it. Yeah. 
you, it pops up. But you just banished some, uh, uh, you know, resource that you don't need. Yeah, I mean, I don't really think you're planning on special summon anyway. Let's take it slow. Yeah, get that rod. Rod, grab your maybe even eternal soul. You might be yeah. able to pull this this game out. But that's good. Like he's gonna, just... he's not. He's gonna go for um, the spell. He's gonna go for that circle. Yeah. Okay. They always go for circle. Always. I thought they maybe he grabbed the eternal soul, but he could always just pop nah. the eternal soul. That's so good. Just once we're turning banishing a power to your monster Hermit Blade Rod and target a card in the field, pop it. Like, like that's just so good. Like it's not even a resource. I know. Just I'm banishing a monster a uh, card. Is it monster or is it card? Monster from my graveyard that I'm not yeah. using anymore to pop a card on the field and go plus one on over your opponent. That's good. That's good. Mm -hmm. Unless, of, effect, course, unless of course, the card you accidentally pop is that new Spirit Beast Tamer. <laughs> and then the, the, the card review is like, oh, it's trash. I'm like, no. It's not trash. Don't you say that. It's good. I mean, I already talked about it. You All haven't right. seen it yet. <laughs> I haven't seen it yet. Yeah. But this is coming from a person who's never played Ritual Beasts in his life, so. I've played them. They're, I loved them when they were wind furnaces, and then I'm just waiting until Solemn Strike goes away, and then I can play you know, them again. Do you want to play uh, Mech Lord? I would like to, because I would like to play them, but uh, Solemn play... Strike being a thing with one ulti can no. Wow, that was a nice top deck. Not only was it strong enough to survive the attack, but then of course they won't be able no. to block an attack later. This is just the duel of the top decks. Uh... Why don't you play Metal Foes, Yang Zing? That's kind of like, especially when Den Wong and the fucking counter trap. It is. Them. It is. But I was doing that before they got the fucking counter trap and the bloody Den Wong. I was doing that before that. And then, that, that's uh, really and then everyone. Friendly. I know, and I know, but now everyone's come in and stolen my thunder. And they're just like, hey, oh, this deck's awesome. I'm like, I was playing this first. Damn. Damn. Back at it again. So, Reverie of Royal Arts. He can only control one type, so he can only control machines. <laughs> I'm not sure if he has other machines to play, so this duel just slowed down to a screeching halt. Hey, but that's what happens with floodgates, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh look, he ended his turn. Oh Don't look, kill. he drew. Can oh, you look, bust out he'll dark set some, He'll set something and end his turn. Oh not even that, he just ended his turn. Wow. I gave you too much credit. Some twisters. Like, can we actually like end this duel, please? Like, where's your dark magician? Where is Eternal Soul? Shit. Jesus Christ, this is dull. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Is that Eternal Soul? If that's Eternal Soul, then you're back in this duel. You might even be able to win it, actually. Yeah, if it's Eternal Soul, you win. Cause yeah, okay. I would just go... I, I don't think it, I don't think it Do is. Do you not have I'm any more empowered we'll monsters? See, we'll see on the end phase. No, he doesn't. Damn, that sucks. We'll see on the end phase. Nope. Not an Eternal Soul. Oh, I thought you were going to go Eternal Soul, Summon Dark Condition, Banish, Tack, yeah. Tack. Let's put it this way. If that face down is an Eternal Soul, then you done goofed. You should, on them face, chain the bloody Eternal Soul and Summon the Dark Magician back. I don't know what the fuck you were on about. Oh, that helps. Um, you at least get to get into your deck quick. You're not even going to use the effect. All right, all right. Sure, sure. Just just summon it for a 1600 beta. Okay. Okay. Well, classic Minerva. Baby Manero. <laughs> this the enabler for more fucking millage. I'm not even sure. I don't even think that that plays JD. Wow. I think they have enough names. They got like what? Wolf, Fellas, Raiden. They got they got Wolf, Felice, Raiden, Lumina, Minerva. Yeah, you have enough to throw the names. Yeah. But I guess they're like, nah, because they have no synergy. You could dead draw them, but. Alright, wow. So he's gonna crash into that. That way he can free himself for some plays. Sure. Okay, I guess. You would. Okay. I thought okay. maybe you would have, like. Something to summon. I think maybe he was gonna go, like, Goblinburg, summon, like. Raiden. And yeah, I well, I guess not. Because like, then you'd still have to go into, like, a, a level 8 synchro. That's a warrior level. <laughs> or a rank 8 warrior synchro. Utopia, mm -hmm. Utopia, Utopia Lightning. There were players. Yep, Utopia, Utopia Lightning. Tack game, but nope. So, all right. Well, we're going to game three. And okay. they're already sided, and it's not there. Oh, really? Yeah. Damn. I was about to pause and everything. Never mind. We ain't pausing. <laughs> oh, charge the light brigade. Send a photon strike. Not not strike, just photon guy. Oh. It's on pressure. Um, He's yeah. right there. You could just scroll your mouse over him and look at his name. I know, but I can't be bothered. 
Well, calling him photon bloke as well probably triggers Tiago. He probably like twitches when I say that. He's like, mm hmm, mm hmm. All right, so right in, mill some more. Oh, there's one empowered, so that's one banished pop. Banish his build so spell though. Unfortunately, ban it. He uh, milled the one that allows you to do the banish. So is that a strike? Because no, knowing knowing your luck, it's a, a deck based on milling and shit. You probably opened up the strike, and of course that means you're not going to mill it. Because <laughs> I haven't seen you mill a single solemn strike. <laughs> We know that you played it. You played it last duel. Oh, he's got a fairy tale in the graveyard. Yep. Ah, and this is the problem with Alert going to multiples. It's that Alert is not once per turn. So you can just learn to learn to learn to learn with how broad it is as a card. It's just so powerful. <laughs> I know it's powerful, but for fuck's sake, there's a lot better than the other drawing cards we've got currently. <laughs> That's like the tame one. Kaiku. Kaiku. Okay. Kaiku the face condition coming through. If this gets through, then that's pretty good. Because Kaiku's going to go ahead and fuck you up and go off during the Unless damage Unless he does strike. Strike? If I were you, I'd strike it. I'd strike the shit out of that. I would not strike let that. Kaiku the skin condition mm -hmm. go off. Strike that, yep. Strike that. Yeah. Called it. Wow. How does this man always open up with strike? He's, a, he's playing a deck that mills. That, yeah, opens up the strike. And that means it's not going to get milled. Like, all right, all right. Oh, shit. You could have at least Again. waited for him to, you know, pay cost to activate something, because he could just chain the frickin', what's her name? The snow. Told you. Should have waited. You should have waited for them to activate snow, pay cost, then chain. Like, wow. Wow, good job. Mm -hmm. you, good job. Pay cost. You got another one? You do. Damn. I still didn't like that play. Me neither, but, I mean... I guess. It empties out his graveyard. I did not like that play at all. Mm. But I guess it's fair. But he gets strike, but... how it was last no. Yeah, he gets exactly strike, but he gets ally justice, so... So, Dark Magician Guy, birthday joke. Are you going to get your strikes? Like... <laughs> uh, we haven't seen a strike from you at all. I don't think so. This is why I am not playing fucking Ritual Beasts until strikes hit. Because mm. I don't want to be like... I summon my ulti counter hawk. Strike. Strike. GG. <laughs> <laughs> I can't fucking call the haunted it back and do. Oh, can, I, can I even call the haunted no. it back? No. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Strike. Wow. Strike is just fucking up your day, isn't it? That's why I don't play it. <laughs> hey, I just bought me a playset. Mm. I was like, I was like, thirty dollars? Hell no! I'm not paying that much. Oh, the ten comes out, twenty dollars. I'll pay that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. drop sixty. Yeah. I was like, I was like, I was like, thirty dollars each? Hell no! Twenty dollars? All right. Yeah, I can see twenty dollars for a card that, and especially it's a, it's a card that seems like it's gonna stay at three for at least the next couple of months. I can get use out of it. You know, if it was like closer to like a ban list, I probably wouldn't have done. And before surprise ban list, Konami hits it to zero. Oh my god! I, you know what? I wouldn't even be mad. I wouldn't even be mad. If they fucking did, you would be like, "I no. just thought these though." I, oh well, because you know what? At least strike is fucking hit. Yeah, it deserves it. <laughs> wait, okay. who go, wait, who goes? Doesn't Kaiku go off too? Huh. I thought, I thought Kaiku would have went off and fucked up that trick clown. Right, summon thing. Dark Magician Girl. Please summon a Dark Magician Girl. Don't summon that other Dark Magician that's not a Dark Magician. Go for Dark Magician Girl. Go for st Style Points, please. Dark Magician Girl, my baby, bring her out. Please. Anyway, I got time for her. Maybe even, another, for maybe even another Kaiku skin condition. Okay. Whoop! Call it! Whoop! Call it! <laughs> 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 oh, it's level seven or lower. Not yeah, level seven. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna say if it was level seven, then how the fuck would he summon Dark Magician Girl? She's six, isn't she? Oh yeah. <laughs> I wish she seven too. I'm gonna say, I do. I know more about your baby girl than you do. I'm not even into yeah. Dark Magician Girl like that. <laughs> Damn. 
I was too busy masturbating over her tits to notice her stars. Uh. <laughs> So Andy has to spell a trap negate too. Mm-hmm. That navigation. It's a. It's. I might it's pick up dark magicians. I might pick them up. We gotta wait for a tunnel hole to come out. And it's still pricey, man. I think navigates like twenty dollars and circles I'll like thirty that. something dollars. Fuck that. I don't, play, I don't take out that much for cards. My entire Ritual Beast deck, which I like very, very, very much, cost me £40 all in. Bookman. Special Summon Hat Tricker? Oh, or that. Or in just Northern. Just fucking just do Northern. Because why not? He's such an enabler. I cannot stand him. Oh, right yeah. Hand. Ah, oh, that maxi though. And that's why it needed to be semi limited. Uh, Norton can just go away forever. Konami reasons, that's why. Of course, he's a stud. double fucking. Wow! <laughs> in of all the milling that he's mill done, deck. and not a single miller strike. Oh, get two of them. All right. All right. Eleven Fuck fucking yeah. cards. Wow. Wow. All right. The luck is too strong with this one. That might be game. Sorry, fucking hero over here. Fucking code daddy hero just gets the luck. Like, God, I need his luck. I need He's his gonna luck. He's going to show you who's your daddy, all right? Did you like what I did there? Shit. I wish I had his luck. Wow. Wow. Wow, hero. Wow, hero. Wow, hero. You are... One lucky SOB. Fucker. Shit. <laughs> oh, and then the wolf. Holy shit. Wow. And the Metal Foes Fusion, so he can go ahead and put that back just to draw a fucking card. Wow. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Wow, it's over. Wow. This is bullshit, right? man. This is bullshit. <laughs> Please, oh. There was skill, there was time, but he can't handle the Dark Magician, though. Is it cut in half attack in defense? Yeah, it is. The start of the damage tap, your opponent control battles the monster face up. Face up monster, though. Does it flip up during the damage tap? Never mind, never mind. I guess he's just going to save it for later. You can discard yeah, cards. Yeah, it's going to be like when he tries to do the Dark Magician and attack them, and then it'll be like, oh, discard, fuck you, yep. get caught. Half? <laughs> wow. Wow, hero. That was disgusting. I want to throw up in my mouth. Oh, God. Don't do it. Gone. Everything gone. No? I said, did, did, did you get your instant You lucky fucker, you did it twice. And instant fusion. Alright, the Dark Magician, who will get fucked up if he attacks. So, no, yep. I mean, no. Don't I mean. do it. Don't do it. Oh, my God, if he would have fucking. If you would have fucking had Insta Fusion, you could have went Insta Fusion and summoned Kaiku and gone to Heartland Draco. <laughs> Heartland Draco would be like, oh! <laughs> no, jump was... over all of you! <laughs> no, you're about to get fucked up. Yep, empowered, bitch. GG. Oh, and then Minerva can mill. Yep. For another and put another account. fucking thing in. Oh, God. You get fucked up, and that's probably again. GG. No re. Yep. Yeah. Wow. Wow, hero. That was lucky. That was Power lucky. Luck. At least if you would have got the max C and you would have took the challenge, you would have drew a couple of cards. But no, you, of course you had to fucking. How you not know a single fucking strike? What the fuck is that? Like, all right, all right. What well, we're done here. I love oh. how he got double allure off when he had like he's like risk it all for the allure and gets it twelve twice. You know what? That card that he drew wasn't anything. Now if it was insta fusion, he went insta fusion then like last time and he went into apartment. I know. Just the chances again. of doing that. You I mean, he has plenty. Been... I'm not sure how many dark monsters he has. I mean, he has dark magician. He has his rod. He has the other dark magician. He has kaiku skin condition. He has summoner monks. He has a nice chunk of darks. If anything, he has the ally of justice. Yeah. So if anything, the majority of his yeah, deck is dark, but. Still, it's risky, it's risky, but I mean, he was gonna lose either way if he didn't risk the biscuit. Wow, this that hero, man. Like, how? So lucky. I need his luck. I need that fucking luck. Alright, we're done here. So, once right. again, this fucking Light Sworn fucking Minerva Snow deck, Fairy Tale deck, kicks butt, beat Blue Eyes, and now it's beat Dark Magician. <laughs> beat Yugi and Kaiba. GG. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this uh, episode of Depro.Commentary. <laughs> Ugh. <sighs>
Uh, thank you, Sandy, for joining me. <laughs> no problem. Thanks for sneezing in my ear. I appreciate it. <laughs> thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And uh, yeah, see you guys on Thursday in another episode. Thanks for watching.